everyone, and welcome to our instructional video on using the new azimuth and inclination tools that were released in the latest version of AB Quantum. So we've made some changes to how these work. I'm currently on the shoot menu. You can see here we have azimuth and inclination to access these. Of course, we can open our controllers by always tapping on the controller box here and selecting. You'll notice now that if I tap for azimuth or inclination, it says press and hold. This was done in order to prevent inadvertent presses of, these, uh, of the azimuth or inclination buttons so that you don't accidentally input values here you don't want. By the way, this little symbol here that you can see indicates that we have a relatively unusually high level of inclination. If that was even higher, then that would be red. Um, if it's a pretty standard inclination angle, then you wouldn't have this warning indicator at all. That's just a friendly reminder for that input. But let's go ahead and show how this new tool works. It utilizes the camera. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna either on this phone icon button or this phone icon button, it doesn't really matter, we're gonna press and hold. That's gonna open up this tool that we have here. And this tool allows us to aim the camera at a target and you can see we have our inclination here and we have our azimuth here. And as I rotate between targets, you can see that those numbers change in real time. So what I would do is I would place the crosshair on the target that I'd like to select and I can set just the azimuth or just the inclination or both at the same time. So I would simply tap set azimuth and inclination and you can see it updates that information. You can also see that warning indicator is gone now that we have a more normalized value. So to show you that one more time, you press and hold on the icon there and let's go ahead and select a new target. Say we wanted to select this target as our new target for information. Place the crosshair over that target and then hit set azimuth and inclination and it updates that information for you. And it's really that easy to use the new tool. Please like and subscribe to our videos. It really helps us out and subscribe to the channel. If you have any other questions or need assistance with anything else, you can always tap the center icon here and then hit the support button and send us an email. We'll be glad to help you. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please do send in your suggestions. Thank you and have a good day.